Hello, God's beautiful people. I am back with another word from the Lord. This word um, God gave me this morning. Um, I was spending time with God this morning, and he was telling me a lot of stuff. <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> but then he said, daughter, there is about to be a growth spurt. And I was like, okay, Lord. And then he said, not just with you, he said, but in the lives of my people. And then he said it again, my people. So I'm going to read this the way he gave it to me. I'm not going to add to it or take from it. He says, daughter, when a baby is born from infancy to adulthood, they go through gro growth spurts where things changes in them rapidly at an accelerating speed. That is what's happening now in the kingdom, says the Lord. There are growth spurts happening with children, not just in the physical, but also in the spiritual with his children. Daughter, tell them this acceleration will come in many forms from personal to professional to increase in spiritual gifts. Daughter, tell them what would take them five years will take me five seconds. <laughs> tell them I need them to embrace the growth. The growth is necessary for kingdom work, kingdom assignments, kingdom purpose. Tell them, open their spiritual eyes and see what I'm doing in this hour. Tell them I need their full cooperation. Tell them I need them to be teachable and humble during this time. Tell them I need them to remain and consistent, to remain consistent, alert, and punctual. Tell them promotion is happening in the spiritual places and I need them to do their best work, your best performance. Dollar, da, daughter, excuse me, y'all. Tell my children the kingdom is expanding and positioning is key in these, critical, in these crucial times. Tell them study, converse with me, seek me. I'm opening ear gates and eye gates. Tell them get ready for the growth spurt. Tell them get ready for acceleration of all things kingdom related. Tell them it's still 22, 2022 and there is so much I can do for them before the end of this year. Tell my children personal growth for most is inevitable. But tell them spiritual growth is a blessing. It's a gift and it's an honor. Tell them it's time for their growth spurt. That blessed me so much when God was speaking on growing rapidly because that's what a growth spurt is. Um, and he's saying in this time, in this hour, in this moment, like this is the time to draw into him. This is the time to, to really focus on God himself. This is the time to pour your heart out. This is the time to seek him. This is the time to trust him. This is the time to know him. This is the time to have faith in him. This is the time to honor him. This is the time to worship him. This is the time to praise him, okay? Because in this season, this is where you're going to grow. In this season, this is when you're going to get the things that God has promised to you. In this, this is the work. This is the work. This is the work that you have to put in. You can't be distracted by what's going on around you. Yes, you're going to have bad days, but those are the days that you have to push through. The enemy tried to get me again this morning, y'all. And I was just like, you know what, devil? I am sick of you. And I just began to praise and worship the Lord. Because guess what? The enemy can't come in when you're giving God all the praise. He can't attack your mind when you're giving God all the praise. He can't come in when you're worshiping. So God is saying, I need you to put in the work. Put in the work and I promise you when you give a little, God going to give you a whole bunch. Okay? And yes, I did say bunch. <laughs> God is saying this is the time. Okay? Put in the work and you are going to grow rapidly. You are going to move fast. You are going to move past the things and you're going to accelerate past people that may have been doing this thing longer than you, but it doesn't matter. I got people in my family. I know that looks at me and turns up their nose because they thinking like that girl ain't even been to church. I got using her. 
or they want to say that something's wrong with me or they want to call me crazy or whatever baby let me tell you something you that's why when god moves you and separates you he is protecting your oil he is protecting the oil that is on your life because you got people that's attached to you that really want to see you fall and most of these people call themselves family but i'm gonna tell you what god said about family he told me don't confuse family with relatives that's what he said some people you are related to by blood but god said that don't make them family and I don't even know where that came from. Holy Spirit, have your way. Some of y'all are so loyal to family. And God is saying, I need you to be loyal to your heavenly father. Because I'm the one that's going to elevate you. I'm the one that's going to cover you. I'm the one that's going to protect you. I'm the one that's going to expose these people that's putting their mouth on you. I am the one that's going to give you eyes to see and ears to hear. I am the one that is going to bless you beyond measure. I am the one that's going to cause them to turn their nose up at you. Because why? Your growth spurt is you going to surpass them. God is going to elevate you above them. Yep, I know they've been going to church for 29 years. And yep, I know they done been to the pastor anniversary. They spoke at the appreciation. Honey, they did the welcome 492 times in their whole life. Honey, they was on the usher board. Honey, they sung in the choir. And a lot of times they, they did solos. Honey, they, they sang in the adult choir and the quartet. God said, I know all that. But I'm still in this season of growth spurts. I'm going to elevate you past them if you just trust me. They're going to be looking back at They're going to be looking ahead of you and you're going to be looking back at them. Because God say in this season, it doesn't matter. It's about your relationship with him. It's about the anointing that he has on your life. It's about the oil that you carry. You can't want more and not invest more. When you have a 401k, baby, if you don't put nothing in it, you ain't getting nothing out of it. You can't be like, I just, I put in seven cent last pay period. And y'all didn't even, y'all only gave me, 21 cent you can't you can't get something out of nothing so god says in this season he needs you to dive in and this season he needs you to make it all about him he needs your everything he needs all your attention because he's about to show you that he is god and baby when you get to start going real fast like pew like real fast past people they're going to be mad with you. They're going to be mad and they're going to be, I hate to use the word hating. They're going to be jealous. They're going to be envious and your name going to forever be in their mouth. But baby, when I tell you, God says, touch not my anointed. Okay. That's none of them. Don't touch none of them. Let God handle all that. Don't worry about what people say. A lot of times what holds us back is who we used to be. And the people that us, that was attached to us, let that stuff go. Let that stuff go. You can't dive in and be all God because you too busy worried about what mom and them going to say. You too busy worried about your friends ain't going to hang with you no more. They talk about you anyway. They don't even be want to be around you half the time. I'm sorry I got to be the one to tell you that. Honey, they all get together. They have little things that they don't even invite you to. Just so they can tear you down. God say in this season, make it all about me. And he is going to accelerate you past all of that. This growth spurt, baby, you about to go from a newborn to 47 years old in a matter of minutes. Okay? Because that's the kind of power that God has. Trust him. Dive in. Get in there. Get grimy with it. Make it all about the Lord. Okay? And like I said, I don't have no problem with telling people, you must not see where I call you, did. I synced it with both of these eyes. I synced it. But understand, 
I'm being obedient to what God says. So if I ignore your call, please don't take it as, as disrespect. Please don't let it hit your heart because I'm just being obedient to what God told me to do. I'm going to need you to understand that in this season, it's about me, my relationship with the Lord, and where he's taking me. And God just said, in the kingdom, there are growth spurts happening. Baby, I would hate for all your other brothers and sisters in Christ to go from being two months old, honey, to 39 years old in two hours, and you still trying to run with them, but you two months old and you can't keep up. Because you not giving God your all. You ain't diving into him like you should. Put forth the same effort that you put into the world. God want that same energy. He wants that same commitment. He wants that same focus. He wants that same confidence. You know when you was going to the club, you had got all cute and everything. You had got your nails done, your hair done. Your lace front was really lacing. Your eyelashes was really popping. And your lip gloss was glossing. And you stepped up in the club bar wherever you was going. And you knew all eyes was on you. God said, I need you to be like that in the spirit. I need you to know that when you read the scripture and it says, greater is he that is in me than that that is in the world. God said, I need you to carry that with you. So when you step into the room, everybody can see that you are oily, baby. You is oily. And I don't mean the Earl that come from like, like, uh, uh, baby oil, not that kind of Earl, honey, not that kind of Earl, not no Crisco Earl or nothing like that. Honey, you has got the Holy Spirit oil all over you. God says, that is what I need. That is the kind of commitment I need. That's the kind of confidence I need. I need you to pour into me like I've poured into you your whole life. It's like reciprocating, okay? What do y'all say this whole, no new friends, I'm loyal. Be loyal to God. Be loyal to God. He created you. But on a serious note, that whole, y'all, some of y'all do need some new friends because the ones y'all think is loyal, they ain't. But we, we ain't gonna go there. We're not. Come on through, Holy Spirit. God says he's doing it rapidly. Baby, don't be the one <clears throat> they be chasing the bus. Don't be the one that's always late to the bus stop and the bus pulling off and you running down the road. God says, I'm doing this rapidly. Don't get left behind. There are growth spurts happening in the kingdom and he is doing it quickly. Why? Because he needs us in place quickly. When I tell you God's people is about to kick down doors. When I tell you in every industry of this world, you hear me? God is changing the game from healthcare to music to cinema. Baby, when I tell you God is changing the game, people that you would never have thought in a million years that will come down, baby, they are coming down and succumbing. The financial industry, in every aspect, God says, I'm putting my people in place. Don't miss the bus. Don't be the one because you did not follow instructions. If you want to be a part of this acceleration, this rapid increase that God is doing right now, dive all in. Give him your all. Study your word. Talk to him. If you got to vent, vent to him. Do whatever it is you have to do. But stop feeling like you got to straddle the fence. Stop feeling like you owe people something and you got to split your time in between them. Nope, because I tell people real quick, I'm shutting it down. I'm going into consecration. I'm not talking to nobody. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. I'm going to take some days. It's just going to be me and God. And it's okay. Better of fact, it's better than okay. That's the best thing you could ever do is take some time out with just you and God because you don't want to get left behind in this season because I'm waiting on my growth spurt. I don't care if I'm already grown because God can take me even further and I could be 197 and still look like this. Eels, eels, 
is. <laughs> so I need y'all to understand that God is saying in this season, I'm doing it. I'm doing it fast. And I need you to get on board. I need you to dive into me and make me your priority. And if you make God your priority, I promise you, he will do the same. I say this all the time and I will say it again. If you are intentional with God, he will always be intentional with you in every area of your life. Y'all be blessed. And I pray that this word reach every individual that it is meant for. I love y'all. And when God speaks to me, I'll be back to speak to you. See y'all later.